Hello and welcome to Audio Adventures, a D&D 5th edition homebrewed podcast that is made by friends, with friends, and for friends. Last time with our wandering vanguard, Toom accepted a pact with this large beholder named Zariel the Resplendent. And in response, Toom has been melted down into a puddle. Just what is Zariel thinking? Will Toom be okay? And why a pact with a beholder, Toom? Well, we can't find out if we stay here. Now, let's hop into the portal. Audio Adventures is a D&D 5th edition homebrewed podcast and may deal with triggering themes at times. Viewer discretion is advised. Trigger warnings can be found in the description. Your consciousness is still there, but you feel yourself getting lower and lower to the ground as all of you look down and you see (laughs) Tomb getting shot with a golden ray and is being melted into a puddle at the floor. But I'm not dead? No, you're still looking at him. Your consciousness is still look like, you're like, what's what's up? But I'm assuming all the things that were in my torso are just now in the puddle. No, you're a puddle. They're all a part of the puddle. Wow. That's one off the list. (laughs) (laughs) And Zariel closes his eyes. They call me Zariel for a reason. And then the eye shuts. And then all of you look over and you see Tomb reforming and being regrown and rebuilt up and further and further golden tornado of dust and liquid swirling up and further and you see as um as he's being rebuilt that his silver metal is not silver anymore oh no outfit changed he's he has now been changed into a uh like a fine gold color flashy and Zariel looks over. I have to make him look more... <laughs> better. <laughs> Time for an upgrade. I wasn't going to be my... I wasn't going to be his patron with him looking like that. <laughs> is Althator's symbol still in my chest? Althator's symbol is still there. God, that was what I was worried about. And you, and you look down, he's like, I don't interfere with anyone's godly business. What kind of monster aberration do you think I am? I look at him and nod in appreciation. And you notice that he is now speaking directly into your head. Okay. It's gotta be my second favorite being that we've, it, that we've met. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and he looks over. Anyone else want to pact with me? Although, I feel like Tomb here is a little more interesting than the rest of you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> no, thank I... you. Not biased or anything. <laughs> are my cherry blossoms gone? Your cherry blossoms are still pink. Yes. Wait, but... I was gonna ask, did he still have wood all over the place? Uh, he's basically the same. His metal is now a golden color, and you see uh, that the wood is now not a rough wood, but like a fine, Mm. smooth oak wood. With vines growing all over his arms. He looks just much more put together. Like when I was first created, probably. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And you notice that uh, the little bit of your branding that was on there is completely erased. I'm somewhat free, almost. Oh, and one more thing. The little side pouch in your side, um, now it just has a little door there instead of just being an open gaping hole. Fun? Yes! (laughs) You know, sometimes selling your soul is worth it. (laughs) If I even have one, I I just say thank you in my mind, wondering if he hears it or not. You're welcome. 
And if any of you have uh, decide you want to have a pact with me, of course it won't be as prudent as it is now. Uh, taking a pact with Sauriel the Resplendent. Um, in person, but if you change your mind, just let Tomb know and he can contact me. Don't worry, Scrynet is a very bitter pact. Don't take that one. I'm not. Anyways, off you go. I'm kind of <laughs> tired of your presence now. I start crawling up the... Or I take the notebook from... Uh, you and, and Oh, I did? Okay, I just open the little door in my torso and stick it in. And then I just put, like, I just make sure the ferret's still there and the and talon's there. And the yeah, the ferret's there. there, except the ferret's golden now, and so is talon. Yes! <laughs> yes! He's probably like, there's like... <laughs> <laughs> He's like, <gasps> oh my god, what's happening? Sprinkles, me too. <laughs> is that the is that the weasel's name or the ferret? Spring, from, My uh, name is Sprinkles. Yeah, no, from Critical Role. From Critical Role. Oh, oh gosh, <laughs> did the ferret the one have that's, name? The one that's abused. Right, the fire ferret that Laura needs yep. to mercy kill. Yep. Oh. Okay, then I just start walking up the chute. Yep. All of you see now a. Uh, golden shiny uh, tomb climb up uh, the chute after Nyx and Virgil. That was crazy. Alright, come on guys. Let's get moving. I'm gonna wave everybody on. Rio's mouth is just open. She looks over at Redguest. What? What the <laughs> fuck just happened? <laughs> I think my job just got a little bit harder. Uh, I think. Oh yeah. I think so. That's why I said give it up. And also, after I, w I was trying to tell you not to kill yourself, but here you are in front of freaking Boulder. Oh my god. As they're talking, I, I, and after Tavis and Ekman go up, I'm gonna start going up. <laughs> Seeing that they're still talking. Yeah, uh, you guys start climbing up, and she climbs up, leaving Red Guest alone in the room with Zariel. You just hear in the in the tube as as Nyx is crawling. He's just humming to himself. <laughs> in my head, I'm I'm thinking theme song from Hogan's Heroes, but since that is copyrighted, it's not going to be that. Da -da -da. <laughs> da -da 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 Very nice. Just make up your own tune like I do all the time. There you go. That requires brain. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, wait, sorry, that's copyrighted too. Um, yeah, but uh, Red Guest, you're left standing alone in this uh, chasm, and Zario just is kind of shoes you off with one of his tentacles. Uh, all of this encounter is completely different from what all of you ex were expecting. Yeah. And uh, do you climb in the, do you do anything? No, I just climb in, just okay. so irritated. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, wa you wanted the beholder to kill us, didn't you? Of course he did. What do you mean? I didn't send <laughs> you, only you, Tomb and Tavis out for a, any specific reason. What? <laughs> and leaving Nyx and Virgil behind. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so all of you climbing through this. And Nyx, you've been climbing for a while. Do, 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 humming to yourself. Wonderful time. You broke the chick's nose that freaked you out. Good day. Um, The best. I, I met a beholder and I'm living to tell the tale. Great. Oh, Dude, and I'm going to find... Reginald, middle name is Little Bitch, and I'm gonna punch him in the face. <laughs> middle name, Little Bitch. I love it. Little Bitch. <laughs> that was so exciting. <laughs> no, we're not gonna let you kill us. Why, why, why would we let you do that? Nope. Nope, not even if you said pretty please with sugar on top. 
Right. Maybe after I like learn what I want to learn and nope. reach my goals, but not allowed. That's a that's nope. a big nope. Tomb maybe. is not allowed to die. Remember, Emma. That's oh, we, that's we right. made a pact. We made a deal. <laughs> <laughs> well, now the beholder might not let me. Nope, die. it's not nope. allowed. We're neither one of us are allowed to die. You won't <laughs> kill me. I'll kill myself. <laughs> Preferably oh, with you're the not on the list, Nix. <laughs> You're not on the list, Nix. I tried to spare your life. You can you can join the pack. You can join the t the pack too, Tavis. It's just you haven't been actively trying to kill yourself. One of everyone's I mean... just now a warlock. <laughs> we're a pact of friendship. No, all we're, of you. we're all the road. We would be the nicest looking party, probably. Techni <laughs> technically, I was, uh, you know, infested with a demon lord. So. Yeah, that's, yeah. It's true, it's true. I mean, I I did practically everything I could to like keep power, <laughs> even though I knew the dangers of like what was happening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I finally stopped when I cut my arm off, though. He's a witch. Burn, Burn her. her. Burn him at the stake. <laughs> is is the the shoot wide enough for me and Ackman to like crawl next to each other? No. Oh, next to each other. Okay. Oh. Is that be single file? So just face is up his butt. So am I Thank staring you. at his butt, or is he sta staring at my butt? Um, do you want him to follow you, or do you want to make sure he doesn't, like, fall down or something? I would make sure he wouldn't want to fall down, but I didn't know if he would fight me. So up. you're staring at his butt. Cool. So he would be, so the marching order, as I'm assuming it, is, like, Nyx, Tomb, Ekman, Tibral, Virgil in there somewhere. Virgil actually is probably in front of Tomb, behind Nyx. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I think. Um... And Tavis, um, then uh, Red Guest. Tavis, so, Rio, Red Guest. Tavis, Rio, Red Guest. Mm. Um, so all of you are going along. How's my view? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Nice. It's real nice. Roll for, roll for his butt. <laughs> yeah, 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 even for odds. Uh, oh my evens. gosh. Even. He has a nice booty. Oh, good. <laughs> I want to I wanna expect anything different. It's fine tuned <laughs> from being a fighter. <laughs> that, um, fine tuned. He just squats <laughs> every so often and lifts up the butt. Damn, um, boy. Damn, son. <laughs> and every so often he's like, stop. I know what you. Stop it. I don't. I don't like. Stop what? I don't. Stop what? Stop looking at my butt. I can feel I, it. I have nothing else to look at. I'm sorry. Humming intensifies. <laughs> 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 oh my god. You see what I gotta I deal with? I don't like being an object. I. What do you want me to look at? The floor? The ground yeah. we're crawling on? Do okay, that. Fine. Fine. Wait. Okay. You're. No, putting I... on the act you can look at, okay? Okay, they they they. St <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I was gonna cast Ray of Frost. Oh, <laughs> uh, but all of you are crawling along, uh, and Tomb, you actually hear in your mind the familiar voice of Zariel now. <laughs> oh no! Uh, I forgot to to ask, uh, your friend, there in the blue with the white to black hair. Uh, if he wanted to be on my pact as well, I have a feeling he'd fit in with us a little bit. With with, with this whole thing we have going on. <laughs> Ask him next time. Who? Okay, wait. It's been a long time since I've Tavis. known the description. Okay, I was like, who is that? It's Tavis. <laughs> okay. Tavis. Tavis. Obviously, who else would One Tavis be? One is a cat. Be? One is all white. Well, it's Two because I, have, I haven't, like, Two heard the descriptions of everyone's characters in such a long time. I am a half-wood well, elf. Well, guys, if you want to, uh, if you want to watch our, our, uh, our beginning video that explains everyone and their backstories and how they look, go ahead and if, and watch that if you, if you want. Shameless plug. Shameless. Oh, I, I do, I do respond to, to him. Just like what, what everyone do to his boyfriend. What? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, oh guys. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> All right. Now to Say some more. Trigger warning in this video. 
Yes. <laughs> but trigger would. But anyways, before t- before Trevor rudely interrupted me. You're welcome. I I first nod, but then realizing that he's not gonna see that, then I just say okay. Fantastic. Are you able to talk? Is it out loud? No, it's just in my head. Are you sure? Have we tried it? Have you have haven't you tried? tried. To try sure, saying I something. Haven't. Oh, hello. You guys <laughs> hear a pretty mellow voice come out of two. <gasps> two. <gasps> two. <laughs> two. <laughs> two. <laughs> you know we can speak. <laughs> Who said that? What? Oh. Red guess, let's go. <laughs> and it, that, that, was, what? No, that was Doom! <laughs> it came from it! Wait, wait, does it sound like the voice I heard that one day? No, it sounds like Zariel. Oh. Mm. A little bit. Like a little flare. Mm. But like, but like, not a little, like a little bit. Like a, huh, like a little upturn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's like I'm speaking using his voice almost? Yeah. Okay. Great. Just great. <laughs> <laughs> now he can speak. Uh, Tube can now use verbal components to spells. <laughs> That's true. It's it true. might take a while for me to get used to that. So they'll probably... You can finally use that sword that you sold. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Man, this is oh. upgrade town for Tomb. I know, I'm so excited. This makes me so happy. Guys, I can finally cast Zone of Truth on Tomb and be like, <laughs> what the heck are you? I am Warfox. Just, just to let you know, his answer would probably be, I'm not sure. Yeah. Like, okay. that's, he doesn't, he just doesn't know. By Zone of Truth, I mean. Use my candle. Candle truth. So. Don't lie to us, Sam. Okay, I feel like this session was fairly productive. We got out of the beholder room. We got to my boyfriend. We got, um, Tomb to talk. So did I say okay, like, through my voice? And then that's when Tibble asked me to speak again? You said, like, okay through your internal voice. Okay, okay. Now this this was like where Peter yelling can to speak. You should try it. Okay. It's okay. I was also yelling. Not as Nyx. <laughs> <laughs> so how's how's it feel to be in the world of the the verbal? Mm, weird. <laughs> you know, maybe there's a, maybe there's a thing to this whole selling your soul thing. <laughs> if I even have one. Yeah, it, it you know wait, did you ask if you had a dental plan? <laughs> I don't need a dental plan because I uh, don't have any teeth. What about you open your insurance? mouth and now there's human teeth and two <laughs> no, Please, please no. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's too far. Uh-huh. Please no. <laughs> that all start growing flesh and it's like no no <laughs> real boy no you, you, you know i was terminator no i, I was kind of expecting <sighs> to him to come back as not a chain or as not a a warforged just so that they would that, just really so that two would be a species with a plus to their charisma <laughs> that would have been really funny that would have been funny hear me out <laughs> Not teeth. We give to him lips. No, no, no that would be even weirder. <laughs> well, well, wait, 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 hear me. And <laughs> eyelids. Wait, and eyelids. Hear, hear, me, hear me out. No. All three and. of nope. those. Nope, nope. Or, nope. or. Veto. Or fingernails. Veto this <laughs> plan. Or, 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 is that exactly what? Just, just his entire arm is a human arm. No. Oh, yeah, oh, there you go. So and weird. the wood is replaced with flesh. <laughs> oh, I like it. I like it. You're the no. one who signed yourself over to the, to a floating orb. It was a very chill pact, though, like chill yeah. offer. Usually, other packs are like, "Sell me your soul or die." This one's like, "You want some information, dude?" 
yeah. Your information. Yeah. I can give you information. I would have willingly be... sold my soul to that freaking unicorn that we met. Oh. You could sell your soul to that beholder. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> you never the know. Unicorn you might or the unicorn or no? The, the unicorn or nothing. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay. So all of you are crawling. It was like a uh, upward slope to begin with. You've been crawling for a while. Now we're gonna say that you've been crawling for a while <laughs> at this point, and uh, it's it was and a little hard. Point, and at this point, I'm just refusing to look at Ekman's butt because he yelled at me to not to. <laughs> <Dumb. laughs> he was like, "I'm joking." Nope, this is what you wanted. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. Um, and. Uh, you, it was a up, upward hill that took you guys like a little bit to like get up and it was a little precarious, but we're going to say no checks need because you have all the time in the world and Rio is kind of yelling from the back, <laughs> um, like orders. Left, um, right, left. and <laughs> it's, it kind of levels out eventually a little bit. Um, and it opens up from a tube to a large, massive, pitch black Ooh. cavern where all of you with dark vision uh, don't see really anything. But oh. uh, Nyx, can you give me perception check? I can certainly try. Does, does my those... pact give me dark vision? That's a good question. One second. Let me just double check this. Let me double check my notes. Which uh, <laughs> of the patrons would that kind of? Would that be the seeker? The beholder. Also, Is there I'm an actual beholder? Building, a like beholder this warlocky stuff, because yeah. I don't know warlock. Sam's stuff. gonna make a whole new s subclass. <laughs> there you go. Mm -hmm. This is way, a whole new pack. I, think. I posted it in the Discord. Ooh. What's the Discord? Um, Emma, make a charisma check for me. Oh gosh. Uh, 17, by the way, from a perception. Awesome, possum. I rolled a 10. A 10? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you hear, uh, um, Sariel in your head, uh, as you kind of like squint, and he's just kind of like, uh, you, you don't get that quite yet. <laughs> um, so not yet. You don't have dark vision yet. I just or, say okay back to him. Um, and set with a 17 and well you don't see you hear from below you <sighs> from below all around multiplied um, several leathery sounding wings um, and um, like caws chirping sounds just below the vast darkness below and from the back, Rio calls up through you guys. Stay on this shoot, no matter what. Got it. I just, I just continue. Okay. I, I ignore Rio though, but I continue I just, with the shoot. I just say cool. okay. I continue with the shoot. Okay. Um, and as you go further and further. Uh, you see so there's a every so often you see the people with dark vision um, another shoot that either goes below you or above you pass as you are crawling and it, the altitudes go up and down up and down until and you've been going now for a couple hours and uh, Rio will whisper back to your red guest. Uh, this is where uh, we're we're actually going to the um, the death course set. This is where the shoot leads, but it's the only way out. So this is the only way I could get to you guys. Red guest says nothing, but his smile curls up. Hmm. Yeah. Just like then, right when the word death comes out of her lips, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, 
as soon as he says dead, he just starts to smile. <laughs> it's all looking up for Red Guest. Yeah. Hey, he gets to see all your butts. <laughs> um. And there, it, you get to a portion of the shoot that goes dramatically up. I cast fly on myself. Okay. <laughs> and, and all of you see, uh, all of you see Nyx disappear up quickly. <laughs> and you see the shoot going up at a dramatic angle for a very long distance. And Rio says, All right, um, if you want to live, uh, you would probably have to start climbing to make sure you don't fall. Fair enough. I got you guys. If you do. <laughs> got it, everyone? Tibral? <laughs> if I could... If I could see Red Guest, you would get the biggest, like, you know, like when your mom's angry at you, Death Glare? <laughs> like, you would get that kind mm. of look from from Tibro, like. But he, uh, he can't see you, so. <laughs> and Virgil kind of turns around a little bit. Um, and I guess it would be to you, too, that he's talking. Mm -hmm. Um. I have an idea. Uh, if we're worried about people falling off. But it's a little risky. What is it? I say out loud. Uh, I have a spell that is kind of like Nyx's fly spell, except I can do it on all of us. But the thing is, we don't really have control like Nyx does. I turn my head to see if, just like towards Tibble, and I say, did you hear that? I'm going to look past, try to look past Ekman. I hear what? Uh, Virgil repeats the, the same like <laughs> idea back to you. Um... Do you know what spell it is? Um. Um. See, the, the, the voice teaches me spells sometimes and doesn't really tell me the name of them. Um, okay. Would I recognize a spell that he would be describing? Roll an arcana check. I have a plus 19. To arcana? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what? I have um, a Wow. Well, roll it anyways. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna just be like, oh, you have a plus 19. No, 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 I'm sorry, sorry. Plus, eight, plus 18. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you could still fail with a natural one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so good. I rolled a 26. Very nice. Um, you would know that this spell is called reverse gravity. Oh! <laughs> If it's the spell I'm thinking of, maybe not. I appreciate the thought, though. But, like, uh, didn't you guys have that one spell that would slow your fall? What if we mixed? Well, the thing is, do we might need to go be moving forward. I don't know how this spell would work with keeping us moving forward to land to land where we need to because this would make us go up and then that would make us go down well it would be reversing gravity so we would be like we were going down yeah straight down back to here so the if uh, the the we would get turned around and we would go up yes but uh, but we eventually have to go back down yeah but only after a little bit we, I think we need to go up and forward. Because we're going up at an angle? The slide is going, like, straight up. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was going up at an angle. Um, I mean, we can try if you want. Um, we're going to look down. And it, at what I know, it works for this many people. 
Um, you would know that it has a 50 foot radius and it's 100 foot high cylinder centered on a point within range. <laughs> so I know to get us pro clo at least close. No. Yeah. Okay. And you guys um, can, and, and if he was using this in battle, you would have to make a dexterity saving throw. But if you want it to happen, you can fail of your own fail. accord. What do you guys think? Do you guys want to try the reverse gravity? Uh, I'm down for it. For the shot. Uh, do we have Featherfall ready? That was a good pun. Being down for it. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. up. I... Thank you. Okay. Is Featherfall, is Featherfall readied? I didn't have what a say he had it. Yeah, I think. Zach, do you have it? Uh, you cut out what? Do you have Featherfall? Uh. Oh, nope, I don't. Oh. Uh, two, two. Yeah, do you, do you I have, think I do. <laughs> do you have Featherfall already? Yeah, 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 yeah. It is, okay. it is ready? And Virgil's going to start casting it without waiting for all of you to say complete yes. And all of you see um, this as he closes his eyes. And you can kind of see from the, the, the green the vibrant green light that starts to take over and then the blue light that intercedes energy that swirls around his arms and around his um around his hands and then he looks down and mumbles uh all of the verbal uh compone components some phrases uh and druidic that Perthy would know, but I don't think any of the rest of you do. Mm -hmm. uh, and all of you he feel weightless as the spell f boom, boom, pulses around you. And he's like, okay! And you guys all start flying up because <clears throat> this is basically like you're falling. Mm -hmm. Up. Falling up. So um, you guys see that this is uh, about an 85 foot up slide. Wow. Um, so for falling damage. I cast Feather Fall. Okay. Sorry. Well, when we, we won't take any falling damage until we hit the ground, right? So. Can you take, uh, remember that one episode where we, we were in the carpet? You yeah, get a freebie so 10. And then you uh, take falling damage after that. Okay. Then, yeah. I just like. This makes sense, but okay. Nope. I guess he's gonna hold on to the thing because he didn't agree to this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you feel weightless. Do I, have, do I still have time to cast Featherfall? Yeah, I would say you would. You were prepared for it. Um, okay. You you weren't prepared for as fast as it was. So after yeah. about the freebie ten foot, as everyone is flying upwards now, um, and now mm. holding on to each other. Probably, I would assume. Did you say you guys were holding on to each other? I'm holding on to Ackman, at least. I'm holding on okay, to the bars, Ackman. that's it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and and uh, you and Rio are both holding on to the chute, not going up with the rest of the party. And you see, whoom, as everyone holds on, going up um, at a very fast rate. And with Featherfall, you're not taking any fall damage. Um, and you are falling falling up quickly uh, and next you get to the you fly up to the top uh, and you land there and you see at the chute um, leading is uh, leads forward into a room at the top of the chute I go into the room so as all this is happening and you go into the room you walk into this sort of morgue-like room with uh, a sort of... It, it's brick built with a, a bunch of gurneys on the wall, no bodies to be seen, and you see another uh, metal chute leading to a, uh, a uh, sort of like basket with wheels 
and a metal hatch on the end of the basket. And then a metal, um, a thick metal door that is closed with a, like a porthole window in it. I'd like to go look out the porthole window. Uh, you look out the porthole window, you see, um, is a dark hallway. Uh, leading in sort of like, uh, you could go either to the left or to the right and you're staring out at a wall in front of you. And it's, it's just very dark and there looks like there's nothing happening right now. I would like to, uh, find a corner, sit in it, and wait for the rest of them to arrive. Uh, you sit there for a while as they were, uh, debating on what was happening, but you hear, ah! 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 Um, as, uh, they are shot up and all of you, um, fall speed will be, uh, you would get 10 rounds and at 60 foot around, yeah, you would get there pretty quick. Um, so you, after you sit down for about a minute or two, you hear boom, and you feel Arcana being expended at a massive level down below, um, with your, with your passive perception. Mm. Um, and you hear ah! screaming as, um, I'm going to say, and then. I'm going to say Tomb and Verge will make dexterity saving throws. Red guess to Rio. You know, with this kind of stuff they do, you think they'd already be dead by now? Uh, I think I agree with you, but I, I think if you leave them alone for long enough, they would probably do the job themselves. <laughs> I rolled a 12. 12? Mm -hmm. Alright. Um, so with that... Um, so you hold on to Virgil and Virgil, uh, and you push Virgil forward just enough that he is able to clamp onto the edges and the rest of you, um, fly up still with feather fall and reverse gravity. And, um, he will try to, very good Virgil. He is going, he clamps on to the edges as Tomb, Ekman, and um, Tibral are all holding onto the back, just flying up in the air, being like weightlessly being like you're falling upwards. And Virgil's like, Hah! and grabs forward. And <laughs> next you see all of this crazy shenanigans <laughs> being pulled into the room. And too, as you are into the doorway, you're able to pull yourself in okay. and reach back and pull in Tibral and Ekman. Nice. Huh. <sighs> and all of you see the, the morgue-like room from before uh, with the gurneys that are empty and the metal chute that's empty with the ba the wicker basket on wheels and a metal chute door uh, in front of the metal chute and a big, thick metal door with the porthole window next to the metal chute. Did Rio... Yeah, no, did, did Rio fly up as well? Uh, no, Rio and uh, Red Guest are not with the group. Slowly making our way <laughs> as our legs are being lifted behind us. So you're like climbing <laughs> down. Yeah. 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 Um, and that actually makes it pretty easy for you guys. Um, what is your movement speed? My ladder movement speed is actually four times my movement speed. Because of my ladder feet. Ah! Uh, 30 feet. Okay. <laughs> ladder feet. That'd be cool, though. Like, I feel you like that should be a thing. Feet that are ladders. Wow. <laughs> wow. You are proficient in ladder. <laughs> um, yeah, you guys, I would say by the time. Yeah, but in about three, you'll be there and probably another two and a half rounds. And that's before um, the reverse gravity fails, so you you guys would make it up there before. Uh, no strength checks because of the reverse gravity. You guys are just kind of allowing yourself to go up on one, one more handhold. Well, go down. 
You know what I mean. <laughs> Go up while going down. Um, yeah. I'm going to wait until Rio shows up and be like, you said you came to save us, right? Which way do we go? What a strange five months this has been. But Rio's, Rio's going to climb through and up the chute and stand up and lean against the wall. Uh, Red Guest coming in after her. You ask, you say that to her. All right. So right now, we are in the morgue underneath the site for the Daro family show. Wait, the death race? Yes. Que uh, would you happen to know if the Golden Snapdragon would be held here? It's a morgue, dude. Do what? I said it's a morgue, dude. It's not going to be at held the here. Death at the death race. What, um, what your, um, idiot friend over there said, uh, it would not be holding the morgue, but we can check in the offices if you have time. Um, but I don't know how, how much you want to hang around here. Uh, you might get caught, we might get caught. I have an out. You, you all do not. Far too early for people in the show to be here. Okay. Again, which way? She rolls her eyes. Um. Alright. All of you follow me. I'm going to lead you outside where, where it's going to be quick, it's going to be fast. And try not to make any sounds, alright? As we're going, I'm going to look for... Because the Beholder said there was a big, like, aura, or, like, you could sent, feel the power. And I'm going to just kind of, like, feel around with my Arcana and be like, do I feel, do I sense the Golden Snapdragon around? Roll Arcana with your plus 18. I will. <laughs> I will. Let's do I it. I hope you roll bad. I hope you roll a natural one. Um, well, I didn't roll bad. Um, it's, in it's in the 30s. It's in the 30s. Wow. Uh, I rolled 17 plus 18. Uh, you feel as you're as uh, Rio looks at every one of you and says, "Okay, are you ready to go? Ready to go?" Yep. Yeah. Cool. And she opens the door and she looks down the left and the right, and you see her dart right, uh, and you feel the golden snapdragon in the opposite direction. I follow to the right. Wait. Rio. What? How far? What do I need to do going that way? We're going to go out. We're going to go to the teleportation circle, go to Scrynet, and we're going to get out the the building at Scrynet. Does a does a present or does the Snapdragon feel far? Uh, it feels like it's not miles off. It feels like it's deeper in the complex. With an Arcana check, you will not be able... It's not a locate right. object spell. Oh, for would, sure. Would Zariel know? Do you want to ask Zariel? Yeah. Let me ask him if he... If what, he what could is, help us locate... What words do you use to ask him? Call oh. eyeball, your eyeball daddy. <laughs> I... I say... Um, can you help us find this, the golden snapdragon? Hmm, the golden snapdragon. Only if you promise to give it to me. <sighs> or if you find two, give me one. It has immense power, you know. If you give me one, then your abilities would increase. If we find only one, I... It's not my decision to give it to you. Hmm. It is your decision if you ask me for help and I give you the answer, being your patron. So do you really want the answer? No. All right, let me know. And he dissipates. Damn it. 
Uh, I'll just I'll follow Tibro wherever he goes. Tibro, Tibro's gonna do a stupid. We're gonna go toward it. You guys get out of here. Ekman, go with them. Um, I think no. And he goes with you. All right. I'm you guys get out. Move. If anybody wants to go, uh, leave, leave now. Um, I need this. I'm sorry. Virgil stops and looks back at 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 Red Guest. Uh, Red Guest, what do what do we do? I think the right thing to do for you is to go with Rio. No, I I want to help. You saw what I did back there. You have to convince Tibril, not me. Who made Tibril a leader? I thought you were. You're right. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and Rio is just stumped as all of you skip off in the op- exact opposite direction. She's just like, "Wait, wait, where's uh, I follow Rio?" Oh, and Nix. She looks over at Nix. Uh, why am Maybe. I left with the asshole? <laughs> hey, you were just in my way as I was climbing. And I was you decide climbing. to put your foot in my face and break my nose. That is very nice. And you still see remnants of blood running down her face. You need to learn better person skills. I'm not leading <laughs> you out. And she goes after the group. Oh. And I keep walking down this hallway. All right. Yeah, ignore the fun. Where are you going? What about time? Give me a stealth check and a perception check, Nyx. All right, I can attempt to do both. <laughs> and the rest of the group, go ahead in the opposite direction. Give me stealth checks. Is Tavis following uh, us? I didn't hear what he was doing. Oh, Tavis, yeah, what are you doing? I'm following them. Sorry, I didn't hear you if you said it. Yeah. So everyone, Ooh. give me stealth. I'll put mine in the okay. Discord. I rolled an 18 on stealth, and then I rolled a 16 perception. All right. <laughs> oh, two. What'd you roll? <laughs> I feel it's like it was a bad one. <laughs> no, not that bad. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. we, you know, we, we might be we might be winning on a group roll. You know. Group average. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. And. Okay. Okay. Um. So with Rio helping out, all of you, uh, the group sa- saves and succeeds. Oof. Um. An eighteen stealth check, and then a sixteen perception check. You. You go the opposite direction of the group. We'll, we'll go with you first. Uh, and you see um, the you see kind of labras on both sides of the walls as you go through, and uh, kind of using your intuition um, and um, some signs that are up. You weave your way through and are able to duck into corners as you see some people. Um, in scrynet um, uniforms, walk past down the hallway, be able to duck around corners and weave around uh, individual things. And you find uh, two doors as you weave around your way through this labyrinth of a building underneath what seems to be a sort of a gladiator pit. Um. There is a door on the left and a door on the right that look exactly the same. Which one are you picking? I'm going with the door on the left. I flipped a coin. <laughs> Very nice. Lords of Chaos. Um, so as you go to the door on the left, you enter into a, a dark room. Uh, and with your dark vision, it's not it's, it's not that dark. But you can see uh, boxes stacked on shelves in this room um, that say the Artificer's Guild. 
Ooh. I start looking at the boxes and opening some. Um, you tear open some some boxes and you find very familiar items to you. Um, pendants that are made, bracers that are made, um, even even some guns uh, that all have all have your mother's branding on it. I open up the portable hole and I throw a crap ton of this stuff into it. <laughs> um, and you open up one of the crates and you find a different sort of feeling of an item. And it had, there are golden metal gloves on the inside, like gauntlets with purple palms that are the palms are like a purple rock like a geode sort of formation mm -hmm. um and it breaks so you can like bend your fingers ever so slightly as not to be like this like just okay. hand yeah. straight all the time uh to be a little more natural and at the joint breaks there's just like golden metal and joint piece and then it continues along with the purple rock and a purple rock and it has your mother's inscription on it once again but you don't recognize this definitely taking that throw that into the hole and any, anything else that I find that's interesting in there for that I would say roll perception check or investigation right. invest Investigation. Uh, investigation unnatural 20. Nice. Um, you look around, you see very well crafted uh, spears, nunchucks, um, short swords, long swords, um, armor with Scrynet's logo stamped on it. Um, boots that it, brown leather boots that have Scrynet's logo stamped on it, but uh, when you look at them, you get a faint sense of Arcana. Okay, I'm not going to take anything with the Scrynet logo on it, mm -hmm. but I'm going to take the the stuff that was in the Artificer's Guild boxes. Okay, you get tons and tons of weapons, amulets, um clothing pieces you basically clear out this room and your hole is pra practically full um but you have a ton of stuff okay uh, and you hear coming down the hallway uh two voices off in the distance see me to get closer okay i close the hole yep. and I go and I kind of crouch down in the corner and I shrug my my cloak onto me fully onto myself fully it's my cloak of displacement um, yep. makes myself a little bit harder to see and I will stay there until the voices pass do you have the door open no the door was closed I closed the okay. door all right, you hear the the muffled voices then um, walk by, um, and it seems like they're talking about a new shipment of uh, slaves and those who did Scrynet wrong coming in in a little bit at the teleportation circle um, as they walk past. Okay. I... Once the voices are gone, I'm going to peek my head out the door and look both ways. Do I see anybody? Uh, you don't see anyone at the moment. Okay, I'm going to go into the other door. Okay. Very slowly and carefully. I should have said this before. I, uh, these people, you did hear a door open and shut while you were in the room before. Um, hiding in, in the other room. I should have said that before. I just want to let you know before you go in there. Okay. Um, do I hear like the sound of like a teleportation circle going off or anything? 
you hear the the same sound of those two guards um as they um are like a high-pitched sort of man voice oh yeah uh seems like they're sending another lot and one of them was a really uh prominent figure at the university that broke his contract before it even started uh and another one uh man that one was a real shame uh she's a really nice lady and another voice is like yeah I don't I don't really know what the the whole deal is. It seems like a contract is a really cut clear and dry thing to to uphold. And they're having a conversation about people breaking Scrynet's um contract, it seems. Uh, and, and do you peek open in the door? Like open the door. You don't hear teleportation circle right now. Okay. Um I will peek open the door. Okay. Um, cool. With that, I will say, give me a sleight of hand check. All right. Oh, hey, something I'm good at. Ayo. I don't know why I'm good at it, but I'm good at it. <laughs> um, that is an 18. Man, look at this unstoppable man. Um, Correction, boy. B O I. Boy. 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 <laughs> boy. Uh, you. You palm the door handle ever so slightly and you turn it without a sound and open the door. And just before you hear a creak, you stop. But it's just enough for you to let go of the door handle and take a peek in, and you see glyphs on the ground, pulsing with blue light. In the center of this sort of cement warehouse-style room with shelves at the end, near near the door and along um, the side of the wall that you're near, where the guards are standing, just looking at the teleportation circle. Okay. Hmm. They continue their conversation. Yeah, it's a real shame. And it's too bad we have to work overtime, too, to really get this done. The Dara family sent in an urgent so, notice. Sam, how quickly do teleportation circles act? Um, it's a turn, I believe. Um, we'll check. So, essentially, I could run in there and spend my turn to teleport out of there? Yeah, if you, um, let me just, because this is a, oh, okay, so, casting time, but that's already all written out. This is casting time one minute, so we're going to say it takes you a little bit of standing in there, actually, to get in there. Mm. So you'd probably have to maybe lure them away or something or distract them I'm going to not close the door but I'm going to go back to sneak back to the other door quietly open that one and I'm going to cast uh, create bonfire on the door to the to the teleportation room and then I'm going to quickly go into the other room and quietly close the door and go back into the corner and hide. Nice. Um, so you uh, cast this this spell um, and the slight sounds of the fire start to lick at the bottom of the door and lick, start to envelop the door and you run into the other room silently uh and you shut it and then just with your stealth check from before uh you feel very confident in hiding behind one of these crates and you wait for the chaos to ensue
And that was this episode of Audio Adventures. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And most of all, please share to get out the word so we can share our story with you and keep doing what we're doing. If you have an idea for an NPC, a shop, or even an encounter, please comment down below. You might be seeing any of those in the next session or maybe even the upcoming sessions. Again, thank you so much for being here, and we will see you next week. Please stay safe, everyone, and wear those seatbelts.